Welcome everybody to this beautiful location, Kawara Beach at Cairns, Australia. I'm fortunate enough this week to be traveling around um, and doing a bit of a road trip. I came up to visit my best friend of 20 years and it's been really lovely catching up. And it's also kind of tied in nicely with International Yoga Day today and the theme being Vasudeva Katumbakam, meaning one family so the world is one family and that kind of ties in really well with our connections with the people uh, and our connections with the world around us so that's what our practice will be themed on today roll out your mat and let's breathe and flow together let's begin sitting up nice and tall ground down through the sit bones we'll take a moment to connect the breath to the body and just arrive here in this space so grunting down through the sit bones, lift up through the crown, nice and tall through the spine. Bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Take a deep breath into the base of the spine. Feel the torso, feel the chest, feel the collarbones. And as you exhale, notice as the shoulders fall away from the ears, and the body is able to relax just a little bit. Deep inhale to the base of the spine, filling the torso like water, filling a glass. Exhale is softening, it's releasing. There's a gentle contraction of the pelvic floor as the navel draws toward the spine. Let's take a couple of more full Agni Raj breaths here, arriving in our bodies, arriving in this space. You can release the hands now to rest on the knees. Notice any sensations throughout the body, any fluctuations throughout the mind. Slowly bow the head, gently open the eyes, roll over the knees come to find balas in a child's pose so bring the hips to the heels it can be a wide leg child's pose or maybe you've got a narrow gait and the arms are resting beside the body but just bring the forehead to meet the earth find a moment to ground down into mother nature and just as we accept her energy we allow her to accept ours Allowing the breath to rise from the seat along the back line of the body. The exhale softens the heart a little closer toward the earth. On the next inhale, gently walk the hands over toward the right side of the mat. Just stretching and opening through the left side of the body. Inhale, lengthen and open. Exhale, soften and deepen. Coming back to centre now. As we inhale, walk the hands over to the left. Nice opening through the right side body. Inhale, lengthen. Reach through the crown. Exhale, maybe you can drop that heart a little closer toward the earth as you open up through the right side body. Inhale, come back to centre. Bring the knees about hips width apart. Wrists are under the shoulders, rise up to all fours. We're just going to move through some cat and cow. So as we inhale, lower the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, arch and round the spine. Push into the palms as you reach up through the upper spine. Chin to chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, arch. 
just move through this four more times following the cadence of your own breath so just allow the body to be guided by the movement of the breath throughout the internal organs just moving wherever it feels right for you in this moment Mm. Come to find a neutral tabletop. Tuck the toes, spread the fingertips wide, press into the palms, send the tail to the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Internally rotate the elbows toward each other, opening the collarbone, drawing the chest toward the thighs, micro bend in the knees, and gently draw the heels toward the earth. Gazes to the back of the mat opening through the back of the neck. I hope the wind isn't too interrupting for you here. Breathe in, gazes to the top of the mat, walk the feet between the hands, find a long spine, hands to shins. Breathe out, fold forward, Uttanasana, allow the head and neck to hang. Inhale, slowly rise. Sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Beautiful. Moving through a sun salutation now. Lower the hands, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, find a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, nice and long from the tail through to the crown. Exhale, fold forward, frame the feet, step back into plank, whole body activation. So we're making sure that we're not lowering our hips and we're not lifting them too high as in one long line from the heels through to the crown. Lower down knees, chest, chin, or you can hug the elbows to the side body. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, come to the tops of the feet. Push through the palms, upward facing dog, nice and long through the spine. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, gazes to the top of the mat, step forward, hands to shins, nice long spine, half lift. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Taking an inhale now, we're going to step the right leg back, come into our lunge, rising up onto the ball of the back foot, sweep the arms forward, rise into crescent, exhale, rotate the back foot so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat, bend into the front knee, send the left arm to the future, right arm to the past, gaze is over the front hand, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Inhale, lift up through the spine, as we exhale we're going to Send the right arm to the back leg. Sweep the top, the left arm up and over. Coming into our peaceful warrior. As we inhale, we lift up through the spine. Gently rotate the torso a little toward the sky. So we're opening up through the heart space. One more breath. Inhale, come back to centre. Warrior two. Take in breath here. Full Agni Raj breath. As we inhale now, we're going to lift up through the spine, create space through both side bodies, hinge at the front hip crease, reach forward, lower the front hand to the inside of the front calf, stack the shoulders. Maybe you're resting the elbow on the knee. We're just coming into our extended side angle. Send the top arm towards the top of the mat, gently open the heart space toward the sky. One more breath. Beautiful. Pressing into that back foot, we're going to extend the front knee, stack the shoulders, coming into our Trikonasana triangle pose. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, draw the navel toward the spine. Now imagine the whole back body is aligned with a wall. So we're gently guiding the back of the head in line with the hips. One more full breath here. On the next inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms. 
rotate towards the front of the mat, come up onto the ball of the back foot. As we exhale, we're going to push off the back foot, step forward, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bring the hands to heart centre. Breathing in, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Breathing out, hands to heart centre, Samastiti. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart centre, Samastiti. One more time, inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine as we reach overhead. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Stepping the left foot back. Come into your lunge, stack the back heel over the toes as you breathe in, sweep the arms forward, rise into crescent. Breathing out, rotate the back foot so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat. Sweep the right arm to the future. Left arm to the past, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Gaze is over that front hand, shoulder blades melt down the back. Taking an inhale now, lift up through the spine, lower the left hand to the back leg, sweep the right arm up overhead. Peaceful warrior. Bend into the front knee. Whoop. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gently rotate the right shoulder toward the sky, opening up through the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. One more breath. Inhale, come back to Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Find length through both side bodies. As we exhale, hinge at that front hip crease. Reach forward, lower the front hand to the inside of the front calf. Maybe you're bringing the elbow to the knee. Sweep the top arm to the top of the mat. Gently rotate that shoulder toward the sky, opening up through the heart space really opening through that left side body one more breath inhale now we're going to extend that front leg stacking the shoulders we're coming into our trikonasana triangle pose so imagine the whole back body is aligned with a wall Press into the back foot to invite that left hip to open. Stacking the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. One more breath. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms. Rotate the torso to the front of the mat. Come up onto the ball of the back foot. Exhale, step forward. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Allow the head and neck to hang. Full Agni Raj breath here as the breath blossoms from the base of the spine into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Bend into the knees. Lower the buttocks towards the earth. I'm going to come into our Navasana boat pose. So ground down down through both sit bones. You can lean back on the hands, lift the shins so they're parallel with the earth. Nice long spine here. If you like, you can bring the hands underneath the thighs to give you a little bit more stability. We're engaging the core, opening up through the collarbone. The breath rises from the seat into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine, give you more strength and stability. If you want to go a little further, extend the legs, extend the arms out in front. Remember to breathe. Maybe you'll find the shakes. Nice long through the spine. And as we exhale, we're going to lower down. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Bend the neck. Lift the hips. Shift them over to the right. Extend the left leg out long and draw the right knee across the body using the left hand and send the right arm out to the side. Gaze can be over to the right hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften.
As we inhale, we create space. As we exhale, we use the out breath to release and let go. On the next inhale, unwind from the twist. Bend into the knees, lift the hips, shift them over to the left. Extend the right leg out long. Draw the right and left knee across the body using the right hand. Extend the left arm out long, gaze is over to that left hand. And just allow the body to surrender into the earth. Come back to that connection of the self, the connection of the breath with the body, the connection of the body with Mother Earth. On the next inhale, unwind from the twist, extend the legs out long, the feet to fall to the edges of the earth. Arms resting beside the body, palms facing up. Gently tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest. Draw the chin away from the chest, encouraging the natural curve of the spine. Relax the muscles in the face. Begin to pay attention to the breath. The inhale and the exhale flow in and out like the ebb and flow of the ocean's tide. If you want to remain here in Shavasana for a little while longer, I encourage you to do so. Otherwise, we can begin to pay attention to our breath. The ebb and flow of the inhale and the exhale. Begin to find movement in the fingers and the toes. Gently sway the head and neck from side to side. When you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and observe. Pressing into your free palm, rise to a comfortable seat. Eyes can remain closed. And just bring yourself back to that connection of the breath to the body and the body to the earth. And know that we are all connected. Take an inhale, sweep the arms out and up and draw in the energy of this practice. Cut that energy in the palms of your hands. Bring the hands to heart center. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. I hope you really enjoyed that flow. The connection of our breath really brings us back to the body but in doing so we can always remind ourselves that not only are we connected to 
the earth, we're also connected to each other. Um, it's just this invisible lines, these invisible tethers of connection throughout. And when we practice yoga and we practice meditation, we're able to tap into that and connect with each other. Happy International Yoga Day. Keep making magic in this world from your space at your own pace because that's what the world really needs. Namaste.